Let's talk about headlight upgrades. The early models of the Ducati 1200 Multistrada were equipped with four halogen headlamps. These use H11 bulbs. Those are rated at 55 watts and put out a decent amount of light. But hey, with everything, there's always room for improvement. These modifications probably apply to a lot of other motorcycles. You be the judge. More modern headlight bulbs use light-emitting diode LED technology that can produce more whiter light while using less power. I'm a fan of LED bulbs. I think LED bulbs are great. But the fan-cooled variety, well, I'm not a fan. In the early days of LED headlight bulbs, the high heat they generated required some serious cooling. The fan-cooled bulbs became popular because they eliminated the large, bulky heat sinks that made it so hard to fit in smaller spaces. But newer bulb designs don't get as hot, so the fan is really an unnecessary complexity I prefer to avoid. It also is kind of an indication of a cheaper headlamp bulb. Another bulb design to avoid is what I call the corn cob style. These have an array of LED chips sprouting out all around on five or six sides. While these may look more powerful, they're actually a less performing bulb for a couple of reasons. First, they're using cheaper low output chips and compensating by using a bunch of them. Secondly, if you observe the original halogen bulb and the way it emits light, you'll notice it glows in the very center. A high quality LED bulb will mimic this by putting the chips as close to the center as possible in a very slender design. Only this way can the bulb work with the headlamp reflector and lens as the factory intended. Cheaper bulbs may be bright, but the pattern of the light will not be directed on the road the way it should be. My favorite choice for LED bulbs right now are beam tech. They are affordable, use high quality LEDs, and the heat sinks are substantial, yet still compact enough to fit in the crowded space of a motorcycle. The bright 6500K light makes the halogens look yellow, plus they draw half the amps of the original halogen bulbs. Another complaint with the Ducati is the way the high-low headlights work. Switching on the high beam turns off the low beams, or the dipped beam, as they say in the UK. For my aging eyes, I want all the light I can get. Modifying the high beam operation on the Ducati is relatively easy. Once again, it requires a diode, not a light emitting diode, just a plain one-way valve diode. There are a variety of tutorials available online instructing how to do this by fabricating a wiring loom made up of OEM style connectors to mate with the factory relay holders. But there's an easier way. If you simply splice together the output wires from the high and low beam relays, all four of the headlights will light up. However, if we add a diode to that splice, all four lights come on only when the high beam is activated. This works for flashing to pass or when the switch is in the high beam position. Installing the splice only takes about 15 minutes if you use the wiretaps I'm suggesting. It's an easy job, though it's kind of cramped like most things on a Ducati R. It's also worth mentioning this is easily reversible. Just remove the wiretaps and splice. All you'll need for this method is a pair of wiretaps or scotch locks, two short pieces of wire, and a diode. I used a 1N4007 diode sourced from the local electronics shop. The one tricky bit is keeping the diode pointed the right way round. There's a stripe that must point to the low beam relay. The stripe has to be on the low beam relay side of your splice. To keep it straight, I soldered a yellow wire to indicate that end of the diode with the stripe. The black wire I soldered onto the other end of the diode. To install it, just remove four screws holding the left-hand trim panel inside the fairing. This covers the fuse box. Lift the panel away and you should see a trio of small relays. The aft and center relays are for the headlights. Look under these relays for a yellow wire with a gray stripe and the yellow wire with a white stripe. 
I found it best to unplug or remove the relay from its rubber holder. Next, slice back the vinyl shielding to install the splice using the wire taps. There's not a lot of room to work with. So be sure you have the wire fully seated before squeezing the wire tap closed. Be sure to connect it so the diode stripe, the yellow wire in my example, is connected to the yellow white wire. This is important. The stripe on the diode must be on the low beam side of the splice, the yellow and white wire. Once connected, turn on the ignition and test the headlights. Hopefully you see nothing different until you pull the high beam switch and all four lights should come on. Total investment, about three bucks. For details on exactly what you need to pull this off and my recommendation for LED bulbs, see the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.